to welcome you all once again to the old schoolhouse here in the village of Butterstone for this, our 13th live stream, a little wee concert. And uh, sorry for the delay, but the, it's been crazy here for the last hour, 45 minutes, um, because we couldn't get it to work and we were blaming our own equipment, but it turns out that something was going wrong with the the server which we go out to and suddenly it came back online just about 10 minutes ago so <laughs> I'm a bit frazzled and I have to thank Callum McLean my grandson who's five who's watching the streaming with his dad and because uh, he fixed it so I'm, I'm, I'm thanking him and uh, anyway I'd like to welcome you to <laughs> in a stressed out <laughs> way to the old schoolhouse and uh, for those of you who are just joining us this is uh, we village is, is uh, just ten houses, and and this is the what was the old village school, we one room village school for all the rural kids, and it's a school I went to, and my dad went to school here in the 1930s, so it's nice to be able to broadcast to you from uh, from this old school. And for those of you who've been following the shows, you'll notice that tonight we're joined by uh, a new person on the stage, uh, Mrs. Tattyface has arrived, and it's been nice to see you here, Mrs. Tattyface. Amber Tattyface, she says she's called. Her name is Amber. So nice to see you, Amber. And uh, she's going to do a bit of backing vocals uh, along with uh, Mr. Tattyface, who's uh, going to play some licks. Um, I've been trying not to repeat myself over the last uh, 13, 12, 13 shows, and uh, it's now getting quite tricky. And uh, so I'm going to do this wee song to start off with. And uh, I, I actually... Um, over the last couple of years I've been writing a musical and this is the, the first song from the musical and uh, I actually recorded it as part of a thing uh, called the Moor of Gormack years ago uh, and this, so the musical was a kind of extension of that and it's I just I'm not going to tell you the story but it's a love st love story between a Iron Age girl and uh, um, a Roman soldier and this is the song that she, the first song of the whole thing and she's sitting on a big stone looking out across Strathmore, and Strathmore is full of Romans. And uh, Amber Tattyface has been pestering me all afternoon for the lead role in the musical when it happens, but to see what So I hope you're all getting this all right after all.
Thank you very much, and uh, that's my song. I call it "The Place," and um, it's um, it's the it's, it's going to be the opening song of the, uh, the the musical. Not sung by me, but sung by the the young girl, uh, the young heroine girl in the in in the movie, and uh, in the movie in the in the musical, um, uh, the the maybe movie. Uh, and anyway, I'm going to continue with this song, and I. Uh, And I thought that was particularly nice harmonies uh, there, uh, Amber. Uh, thank you very much for that. That was lovely. Um, I'm going to do this song, which um, I haven't done for years. And uh, like I say, it's getting kind of very strange now because I'm having to do lots of songs that, I, you know, I've written, but I, I, I wouldn't have them in my normal repertoire. And uh, I've written so many songs. Um, and... Uh, um, and this is one of them that I that I don't think I've uh, ever really. Uh, that I've ever really performed. I don't, I don't remember doing it on stage. So two more tries. Here we go. On. Here are the changes we hoped would never come And all the other great mistakes could have bound it into one Heaven for the hunger, the poison for the pain Until pieces of the strength and dream are all that will that all that will remain for hearts can never hide, can never hide. Hearts must hold the soul and don't. Unchained we run, unchained inside, unchained we dance against the tide. has grown He knows the light will fade to fade into the dawn His word is open and His hand when given strong He senses who to trust and who needs to belong For hearts can never Change. 
redeemed we run unchained inside unchained we dance against the tide Stands unchallenged at the falling of the years. It weaves its shadow shapes through all our hopes and fears. Heaven for the hunger, a poison for the pain, until pieces of the strength and dream are all that will remain. Are all that will remain. Hearts can never hide, can never hide. Hearts must hold the soul and open wide. Unchained we run, unchained inside, unchained we dance against the tide. We dance against the tide. We dance. And uh, that was uh, my song. Uh, thank you very much. I'm assuming that you're clapping in front of your computers and your laptops and your phones. And that <laughs> um, it's very strange. I've been trying. For those of you who have just joined us, I try and make these like little concerts. So I didn't really want to sort of sit around my kitchen table and stuff and that, you know. So I've set it up as a week in a concert. And I've even got chairs out on uh, their empty chairs sort of in the old school here, so that you could go and get your beer and your glass of wine and your popcorn and uh, you know and your uh, Pringles or whatever you get and, and sit down in the, in the big sofa put it on your bit or get it on the big telly and kind of pretend you're at a concert you know and a nice wee way to escape for half an hour um, I'm going to do this song which is this is the point where I get everybody to sing a chorus and uh, this this um I wrote this song. Well, there's a wee story goes with this song, actually. I, I, um, I wrote this song and, and, uh, with my uh, dear uh, late friend, uh, Gordon Duncan, wonderful whistle player, bagpipe player, who um, I've known since he was young. And he played, on all my early, played whistle on all my early records and he sadly passed away a number of years ago. But uh, we were on tour in America, uh, me and with a, with a kind of whole group of us. And... Uh, and Goddy, we were, we were <laughs> traveling to Charlotte in North Carolina, I can remember, in the back of an old van, a, a big old van, big old Chevy van or something. And uh, we were sitting on uh, 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 guitar amps and things and that. And Gordon was playing this tune. He had the first part of this wee whistle tune, and he couldn't get a second part to it. And so in the back of the van, I kind of hummed away, got the fiddle, had it hummed away, got a, another a second part. And then later on that night, I uh, made it into this wee song. And the chorus is funny because when we got to Charlotte, it had been a long, long drive, and we went into some bar somewhere, and, uh, and we were looking at the menu, and uh, we were all wanting a cup of tea. We were gasping for a cup of tea, and, and uh, Goddy ordered up this, um, this uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, a Long Island iced tea. We thought that was really hot, you know, in Charlotte, in North Carolina. We thought a Long Island nice iced tea, that'd be fantastic. Not knowing that a Long Island iced tea is a great big glass with a shot of every single white spirit in it, with, with umbrellas and things and that sticking out of it. And, and so we all got these uh, Long Island iced teas and, uh, and 
And so I, I've written that into the song. So we'll try the song. And the chorus you sing is, We'll drink to the wild ones, to the laughter of the child ones, to the ones who have broken away. And we'll drink for their pleasure another Long Island measure and fall into another new day. So, and we'll drink to the wild ones, to the laughter of the child ones, to the ones who have broken away, and we'll drink for their pleasure another Long Island measure and fall into another new day. And uh, so we'll try and see what we want.
And we'll drink to the wild ones To the laughter of the child ones To the ones who Another long island measure and fall into another new day. Try it on this way, sing on your own. You all ready? Ready, Amber? You can help me. Thank you very much and well done. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a vibe that you're all singing out there and uh, it's been wonderful doing these wee shows because there's so many people have been kind of uh, uh, checking. It would be nice if you leave a message if you're, if you're watching from some exotic place, you know, leave us a wee message on the Facebook page. But we've had people from all over the world uh, watching these shows and um, this is my 45th year as a, a troubadour traveling musician and I, I suppose over 45 years of doing gigs around the place, you eventually <laughs> there's lots of people get to see you and, and, and maybe get to know your songs. Anyway, I, um, I'm going to finish now with this wee, uh, wee song and I've just got to make sure I get the right guitar. Uh, and... Uh, Every now and again I've been doing a Burns song and so uh, I thought tonight would be quite nice to do uh, another one of, this is a Burns song that I did on a, one of the very early records. I've always recorded um, Burns songs because uh, uh, Robert Burns, um, he's a poet in case you don't realise, he was, uh, you know, lived in the 1700s, mid-1700s and was a, was a huge inspiration to, to lots of Scottish uh, songwriters and just music in general, you know, he, he just had a fantastic, uh, and he was the guy that wrote Old Lang Syne. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to finish with this and leave you with this, and sorry for all the crazy... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, my heart's still beating at 120 beats per minute because I've been running around and I tried everything. We were blaming our own equipment originally, and then we did discover that it was nothing to do with our equipment. Our equipment's working fine. It's the, the server where where we uh, we send the signal to from Butterstone to be somewhere in I don't know. It could be in uh, London or um, uh, Hamburg or Australia somewhere, but. but uh, Whatever was going wrong with that, they, they managed to get it fixed just before we, we, we got back on air again, so it's great. And uh, in case of the people that watched the last show, you might have seen the catastrophe I had when I was, uh, when I had the, the Mr. Tatty Face Jr. I was saying goodnight with him and I had my 1969 Martin guitar and it fell onto the stage. And, and uh, well, just to let you know that the guitar's fine, I was playing it this afternoon. and. Uh, and uh, Mr. Tatty Face Senior is also uh, Junior is also fine. So uh, and uh, I haven't had a mouthful of my port yet. So uh, he's wanted to just let you know that he's fine and that uh, there was nothing happened to him. Um, and uh, anyway, his mother's here now. Kind of, uh, she's uh, <laughs> keeping an eye on me. You know. And uh, she's actually. 
she, she's quite a celebrity, um, she tells me. I don't know, she just, they just appeared in my garden today. She just appeared in the garden. Today. But she said that she's a bit of a celebrity. She's, she's been in some girl band. And, uh, and uh, not quite managed to get that in, the rest of the information out of her yet, but well, well before the next night. <laughs> so... A song called You Banks and Braves of Bonnie Doon.
and uh, thank you very much. And that uh, burns as beautiful uh, Banks and Braes of Bonnie Doon. And uh, I'm going to have to leave you with that. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the little half hour. Hope I didn't look too stressed out there. Uh, I'm just beginning to calm down now. In fact, I've been dying to have a wee glass of this uh, mouthful of my 1985 port. I opened a bottle of, um, a friend gave me a 1985 bottle of port. And mm. oh, I feel, feel calm already. Anyway, uh, th th thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. At this point, I'd like to just make a general thank you to... One of the reasons I'm doing this is for, is for all the people, all the workers in the NHS and all the carers and just all the people that are out there, all the people who are driving the trucks, who are d emptying our bins, for, uh, who, are, who are just doing all the things... I can't, can't, can't list them all, but all the things up uh, uh, above and beyond con the, the call of duty in this crazy... Um, in these crazy times, and um, I really appreciate uh, what you're all doing, and uh, and uh, particularly the NHS staff and the, and the carers who are who are putting themselves in and their own selves in, at risk, you know, out there, and uh, and that's really brave, and 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 I really really appreciate it, both Jen and I. Um, we're just me and Jenny here in the old school. In fact, Jenny, do you want to come up and say just? Let's get my, am I going to get Jenny to come up and just have, have a wee bow before? Because she's never done that. Everybody, I talk about her, but. She, uh, she's the one that's pressing the buttons up the butt. No, no, but just come up and just, just, just say hello and then. So this is Jenny who's been pressing the buttons all night and. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Jenny, um, and uh, once again for we Callum, my grandson, for fixing the technical problems down and uh, down at Aaron Tully. For Jamie and uh, Tanya, for Taj and Julia, and uh, and Lewis as well, who uh, all, all my family who are they're all kind of helping me uh, remotely because we've got an automated system here that my son set up where the cameras are uh, operate automatically. We we just press a button and they and and, oh, and my mother uh, Dolly uh, who uh, oh yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Just uh, say I'll see you again on. Uh, what day? <laughs> I've lost track of the days. Uh, it'll be Thursday. Now it may be a different time on Thursday because we have had a request, a wee request, from uh, people in the National Health Service to do one in the afternoon, maybe at one o'clock, which seems to fall better between the shifts of some of the the nurses and the people that are on the shifts. So that the, the um, so we'll let you know via the Facebook page if if it's going to be one o'clock in the afternoon, um, and and. Uh, uh, if not, it'll be the usual time. But if it's going to be one o'clock, we'll let you know. Um, if we can do that wee special afternoon concert, it'd be fantastic, you know. And uh, so anyway, see you then. And Aikava, good night. You take care of yourselves and, uh, and uh, look after each other. And I'll see you on uh, Thursday. Night-night. <laughs>